I think we should also, as John Hammond Taylor is doing, try not to immunosuppress but immunostimulate to see whether antibiotics plus immunostimulation can actually rid us of this infection. Uh, we should also see whether antimap together with uh, Remicade could end up with a potential cure by removing the cells that have the dormant map. And uh, we've seen this happen in at least one case, and John Herman Taylor, I think, has a case like that, but I can't quote him. Because that might be the future therapy. Because the antibiotics won't get the dormant map, they don't. Not really yeah, do not dormant really bacteria don't dissolve, they don't, don't, uh, don't get killed, they don't die. A little bit like in biofilms, you can have bacteria that are sitting there, you can throw all the antibiotics you like at them, and they won't be killed. And then they turn into dividing forms, and they might be killed for a while. So, how do you get rid of the last um, dormant form that is nicely hidden, let's say? I don't know, but perhaps immunize, you know, immunization or um, TNF-alpha apoptosis. Uh, can they cure cattle of Yoni's disease? Well, that's, that's another area of research which no one wants, it to, wants to fund. I think Mike Collins is doing that now. Uh, it'd be a good idea if we treated some cattle, but cattle are such large animals and drugs are so expensive that uh, I think you spend equivalent of the animal's value every week in drugs. <laughs> so it's uh, difficult to treat for many months. Uh, yeah. Who's going to fund that? Um, Perhaps uh, companies that produce hamburgers. Yeah. <laughs> McDonald's. Um, are there any sort of natural, I've seen a paper talking about natural antimicrobials that have some uh, in vitro activity against MAPS growth, uh, like cinnamon, oil of oregano, and some others. Um, Cook with it. Any? <laughs> you know, all antibiotics except the manufactured ones, but all, all of them are natural to start with. Um, natural doesn't mean it's good for you. I mean, cigarettes are natural, so is heroin. but. Uh, it's not lose sight that natural is not good for you. No. What is good for you is that which doesn't hurt you and helps you. If it was effective, you know, I'd be giving people oral cinnamon and enemas of cinnamon. If it works, we'll be using it. Yeah. Yeah. Show me the evidence, I'll be first to use it. Uh, um, maybe also there are probably people watching that might. Uh, um, Cetaphil, you you do uh, human probiotic infusions. Well, the superinfection on patients in Crohn's, I think it's a very important issue. Uh, recurrence relapses of Crohn's are possibly driven by superinfection with Cetaphil, E. coli, Eremonas, and parasites. And I think it's an important issue that when a patient is being assessed, uh, recurrence tool testing is crucial because if a person has Crohn's and Cetaphil, the Crohn's disease course been shown by a number of papers is much worse than if it is um, just uh, just crimes without a super infection. Uh, we've been using fecal implantation in reversing C. difficile. We've published a DDW recently on this, and uh, there is no drug that kills C. difficile as well as a fecal implant. And it's probably because we are delivering numerous antibiotics to the bowel flora that are able to kill Clostridium difficile. Now we're using natural therapy. <laughs> it's perfect. Um, Does it reverse Crohn's? Well, it can certainly suppress colitis, um, but it may be because it immunostimulates through pain patches. Did you talk about the recent paper, the paper you just, is going to come out in the American Journal of Gastroenterology? Can. I can, but I mean, David was here for He's on treatment for 12 years. But essentially uh, what we've uh, submitted and had accepted was an abstract. It's not a full paper. Uh, we'll expand the number of patients as time goes on. But uh, the, the gist of the paper is that if you take anti-MAP ther therapy long term, the side effect profile is, is rather gentle. There's, there are very few, if any, long term antibiotic side effects with anti-MAP. Much easier to take for the patients than, than immunosuppressants. Um, why why resistance to to trying the anti map antibiotics? So why by resistance some, to? Why do some resist um, prescribing it when 
say the patients failed all other, yeah. all the other checklists from the cookbook. Why not? Well, the answer is uh, we don't know, but it's the same resistance that occurred when uh, uh, when we developed therapy for Helicobacter, when blood transfusion came in. Can you imagine having the soul of someone else being put into your veins? So it's similar uh, resistance. Uh, one thing one can say is that doctors who have data before them that tr the cause is proven on Cox postulates uh, and if they do not treat patients and patients get worse uh, then I think now they're liable. Uh, as with fecal transplantation we saw in Canada. Look how many killed patients by doctors by failing to eradicate helicobacter on time. You had death from perforation surgery and death from bleeding. But if you're the dying patient because a doctor didn't treat you for, for a C. difficile and knowing the therapy was there, what will the court say? Find him guilty. Granulocyte colony stimulating factor, Crohn's papers, mm -hmm. uh, boosts the immune system. Has been tried but unlike in chronic granulomatous disease where GCSF cures the condition, actually cures the Crohn's of um, chronic granulomatous disease, um, we have tried it, there have been trials, although it's marginally beneficial, it hasn't given us what we wanted. Yeah. But I think in the future, maybe immunization, GCSF, uh, antibiotic therapy, and whatever, uh, may need to be combined to, to overcome this chronic infection. That almost sounds like a stem cell transplant. Yeah, yes. that'd be nice. I mean, there have been total bone marrow transplants, and that has cured Crohn's. There's gut publication. Yeah, the genetic. Um, from a from a um, an identical donor, <coughs> um, and yes, the allogeneic was better. There were seven patients, if I recall, one failed the transplantation. Seven patients with Crohn's, uh, one in whom the transplantation did not uh, take. That person re re relapsed with Crohn's, but the others had total Crohn's cure, and um, which indicates that perhaps the genetic defect was removed, and patients were now able to to get rid of their MAP infection. Some who have had the uh, autologous transplants just using their own... It doesn't work that well. It doesn't work as well, but could it, during the conditioning therapy, when they wipe out your immune cells... Could be a co-therapy, co Could it be getting sure. rid of the MAP in the could conditioning therapy? a co-therapy, yeah. But you're reintroducing your own genetic defect. So you're likely to get reinfected, and then when the reinfection occurs, you're inability to get rid of it is just going to lead to the disease again. But if you have a different genetic structure in your in your uh, white cell defense system, you're far more likely to get rid of a bug that is dependent upon that new genetic system to cure the infection. Hmm. Yeah. I think that, that well has, uh, it adds up with our understanding of infection and genetic defect.